And hello everyone, Blade here. Welcome back to my let's play of Theme Hospital. And last time we started a new hospital. And we still have to um, fill it up with stuff actually. So let's first of all... Ooh, a consultant surgeon. That's already good. Just a good, good doctor. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see. That's a consultant researcher psychiatrist. That's also very nice. Alright, we'll wait for those. Alright, we're gonna hire three nurses. There we go. Two receptionists. Well, maybe later another. Oh! That's the wrong button. Maybe later another receptionist. There we go. Nope. Yep. Mr. Bitters. There we go. That's the staff for now. Now some of you said that I should place bins here. Now these are the uh, f uh, furnished corridor, this is the furnished corridor button and there are no bins here so yeah you won't be able to put bins in the hallway unfortunately now let's see yeah that looks alright two receptionists and let's see the where's the, uh, there's the emergency thingy so I'm actually thinking of starting the diagnosis stuff around here and having the treatment rooms around here so they don't have to walk very f very far so let's start over here with our GP's office and I'm gonna try something else now as well let's see that one there that one there that one there And that one there. Alright, from there, a cardiogram. Door over there. Um, that one there. Dang it. Why it no fit? Okay, what, seriously, what the heck is up with this now? Alright, then... Let's see if this makes it better. I doubt it, but... Huh! Apparently it does. I was just going to put one radiator in each room, but because I have a radiator here and a radiator here, it will overlap this part, so... I might be able to reduce the cost of heaters while my guys just stay, stay warm that's just the uh, idea behind it and I'm gonna buy two and a fire extinguisher just for safety reasons okay we're gonna place down two psychiatric rooms as well one for diagnostic reasons, and I'm going to place one around here for the uh, emergencies, should they arise. Also two. Okay, now let's first place down the bookcase. And the comfy chair. The couch. And the skeleton. And we can place another bin and even a fire extinguisher in here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Diagnostic, diagnostic. Yeah, ward, but... Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do a ward. Where do we do the ward? Yeah, this looks nice and... Roomy for the ward. There we go. Let's see if we can fit this in here without losing too much space so far so good I wonder can I 
place another bed in there. Nope. Unfortunately, I cannot. But that's alright. There we go. That's the ward. Four patients can handle that. And let's see. Treatment. Alright, we're going to place down another psychiatric ward. Although, maybe an operating theater can fit there better. There we go. Yes. It just fits this little... This little um, line with the wall just perfectly, so <clears throat> I'm going to do that. Two radiators and a fire extinguisher, maybe a bin. Alright, now. Let's place this a little bit more in the middle. I'm going to place that one over there, that one over there. Over here. Fire extinguisher here. Radiator here, radiator there, and the bin. There we go. Maybe a psychiatric room over here. Although, I think a pharmacy would fit there better. Yep, it does. Alright, two radiators here. The reason why, because there are no adjacent rooms, so I am doing a zat. Let's see. Place that one over there. Fire extinguisher here. Radiator here. Here. Bin there. Alright, next room. Let's see. How about toilets around here? Hmm. Yeah, if we place it like this. We might be able to even squeeze in another room over here, so... Let's see, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna do it with that. One more sink. Radiators. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. And lovely being greeted by a burp. Okay, now... Inflation. We can set that one up over here. Although, let's set the door over here. So just to avoid congestion around here. Uh, one radiator would be enough, I believe. Just got to place that over there. Even place a firing st extinguisher in this thing. Alright, so far so good. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to place another psychiatric room right next to uh, the existing one. And maybe we'll even... A a wow. English, Blade. Do you speak it? And maybe we'll place another pharmacy around here if possible. We'll see how that goes. But we can basically make a lot of... Place a lot of benches in here. Just for waiting time purposes okay and that one and that one okay let's see I'm gonna place that one over there that one over here I'm just gonna try and mimic mimic the room the best way I know how bin uh, let's do a bookcase here no let's put the bookcase over here there we go, and we don't need that other radiator because we have a radiator over there. Okay, now let's see a secondary pharmacy because we are going to need it at some point. Nope, we can't fit it there. But we can fit it here. And that solved our um, big gap in the middle. So I'd say that is a win-win situation. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it like that. There we go. That's that one. We got 
Toilets? Yes, we do. Two psychiatric rooms. Alright, another GP's office we would need. And we are going to build that around here. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're going to scooch that one over uh, up one over here. Otherwise, if you place drinks, drinks machines here, they are ha going to have trouble reaching those. And that will be really annoying. Don't know why you would need a, GP, uh, a fire extinguisher in a GP's office, but... Eh. They seem to like it, so... Hmm. There we go. Let's see, what else do we have? A staff room, we need... We most definitely need that. But I want to keep room over here open, just to get, like, an x-ray in here and a scanner. So we're going to see what else we can buy around here. Let's do that one, because that already links over to the hospital. And we can place our research facility in here as well. Let's see. Nice and roomy. You know what, let's first place our research facility. Hmm... Yeah, that ought, to, that ought to do it. And because I placed a door over here, I'll be able to put more stuff over there. Alright, let's see how many desks we can fit in this little wonder world. Because I want at least two researchers working there. Haha, <laughs> and we can. There we go. Radiator here. Yeah, and one preferably over here. There we go. Alright, staff room time. Nice and big. Oh, nice. We can get video games. Better than pool tables. They take up less space and they work pretty damn fast into uh, relaxing your staff again, so... Let's just place the video games over um, here. Oh, and I think I can plant down another sofa. Nope, I can't. Thought I could. But apparently I was wrong again. Alright, that's that. Now the training room, we are gonna... Oh, we're out of... We're almost out of cash. We're gonna need a loan. Alright, well, you know what, let's just first of all play some drinks machines. Alright, let's see, we'll place one over here, one over here, one over here, one over here, one over there. Just to make sure our guys don't get thirsty, toisty. There we go, and now we build bench or buy benches. 30 would about cover it, I think. Let's see. There we go, thank you. Now this ought to help us tremendously. Hmm, yeah, let's place that last one over there. Now I'm gonna need another loan just to uh, place radiators and stuff down. You know what, let's just... We're just gonna open up. And in the meantime we're just gonna... Heat up the hospital. Over here, one behind the receptionists. They need to stay nice and warm. And of course, here in the hall, stuff needs to be nice and cozy and warm. 
Let's see, let's place one here, one here. We cannot do anything here, so... Alright, let's check out the heater. Yeah, there's an entire... Well, if I heat it up a little bit... There we go, that ought to be better. Uh, let's see... Okay, you are good. And hello... Second consultant. And psychiatrist. There we go, you are just gonna get in here. Yeah, well... We're gonna wait with researching then. Where are our lovely little nurses? One here, one here, and one in here, please. Alright, let's set it to normal level. I think we actually did a pretty okay job on this one for once. Yeah, this isn't too bad at all. Oh, and I forgot to set up the research. Which, none of it is happening right now for some reason. Let's set both up to 40%. Okay, now where was our researcher again? There he is. For now, you will work there. This will be your post. So, research your ass off, would you? Oh, and there is our first patient. And let's get a secondary... ...receptionist. Yeah, and he's probably gonna go there because... Oh, there is someone in there. Alright, let's check out the... Uh Hello. Ah, we got the uncommon coal. And again, I am gonna get another loan. I know some people are like, why are you doing this? Very simple. I need them. Uh, there we go, another, another one of those. Those guys are good. Yeah, you're gonna work here, and this guy. Thank you. You're gonna work over there. Because we got a crappy... Crappy researchers working there now, so... And the squids has been researched, and we can pay back one little bit of our loan. So that's good. That's very, very good. Let's see, where are you going to go to this pharmacy? Now, is this... No, really? Yeah, this is... Sh this is closer than that one. Alright, that's patient number two cured. Now, this is a good researcher. But we just can't do that because we just reached... <laughs> Negative balance, so that sucks, big time. And I don't know how long I've been playing actually now. I'd... A new cast remover has been researched, has successfully been researched. That's the fracture clinic, yep. And we can just place these over here, or even over here. Just to fill up the empty gaps here, so... That's the whole idea of just using this area to the max and maybe yeah we're you know we're gonna place some diagnostic stuff over there and treatment stuff over here and nice another whatchamacallit another illness has been found or a condition and another one spare ribs nice looks like our operating theater is gonna be used right after he's taken a nap
into the bed with you. And you're cured. That's nice. Now, let's just speed things up, shall we? Oh, an emergency. Six people with bloody head. Yeah, we need the money right now, so I can't say no to that. You know what? Where is our... There we go. You are going to work here for a sec. Alright, let's speed things up, shall we? Gonna make some quick cash. Pop. And another condition has been found. Let's see what it is. Broken wind. Using a gymnasium treadmill after a meal. Upsetting the people directly behind the patient. Ew. Just ew. Pop. Alright, let's uh, speed things up again, shall we? Next! Now we're just gonna wait for the handyman to fix that thing. Next! Oh, and I just noticed I forgot to uh, see what condition that was. I'm sorry. And there we go, we has got them all. And a VIP wants to visit. Yep, you can come. Patients check in, and thank god they do check out. And that solved our negative balance crisis quite a bit. We're still a little bit in a minus, but we'll probably dive down again as soon June is over. There we go. Told you. Wow, not a consultant sur uh, surgeon. Lots of surgeons here. How many do we have? One, two, still two, still two. Yeah, I think we're gonna need another one. Just to be sure, you know, just to be sure. There we go. You're gonna work over here. And well, I actually want I want want good stuff. No fucking juniors. There we go. And this guy will work in here. So now we have four surgeons. So that means two surgeons can take a break, and the other ones can just take over. That's very very important. It's very important just to keep this thing going should things be needed in there. And on our way to the pharmacy with broken wind. Nice. So how are the doctors feeling? Are they feeling warm? He is. And he is. But he isn't and that guy isn't either. So he's feeling actually pretty okay. Alright, but uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, like the layout of this hospital for now. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Goodbye.